you're chief of police. You're supposed to be the guy that is the paragon of trust. And you're weaving this web of deceit and lies. How has that affected your community? Oh, it hurt them because I went in there and I worked with integrity and ethics and everything. As far as my job, I did it uh, ethically. And, and then for them to see this side that's come out, uh, it hurt the community. And I, I, you know, I apologize to everybody in the community for, for what I did to, to them. Maybe not, you know, not directly, but um, losing that public trust that I had built with them. You were fired from your job? I, I resigned, yes sir. In lieu of being fired? I was honorably discharged from, from the agency. Were they gonna fire you? Not to my knowledge, no sir. So you believe if you hadn't resigned, you'd still be chief of police? I knew because of what I had done, I had violated that public trust and I knew that it was probably in the best interest of the agency and the community that I resign. Did you do any of this on job time? You know, uh, every once in a while I would talk to, when I was on a break or something, you know, I would talk to them or send them a message or something like that. Did you drive your car to Amarillo? The one time that I went to Amarillo, you know, it was going to be job related. And at lunchtime, that's when I'd gone to Cecily's. This is a ring video of one of the many times she says he would visit her while still on the clock. Not only that, but she says he had met her family, had their picture up in his office, and even went as far as asking her to pick out an engagement ring. Was the ride along in violation or is that acceptable? No, sir, it was acceptable. It was part, we had policy in place that uh, civilian ride alongs were allowed. I don't think they contemplate that being your mistress. No, no. Yeah, it's supposed to be a public service. Again, um, that's where I say I, I violated that public trust with them. Well, you went from being chief of police with a wife to six girlfriends to being single and having no girlfriends, no wife to go home to. What's your biggest regret? The whole thing. I was doing a good job and, and, and I violated everything, you know, with Opal, with uh, my kids. I broke trust bonds with all of them and now I've hurt them and I regret it all. If I could go back and, and change it, I would change every bit of it. Have they talked to you about the embarrassment that they felt from the headlines? Because your kids have had to read these her children have had to read these. She has had to read these. You've had to read these. I hate the embarrassment that I brought upon my kids, my family, um, again, the community. Well, the headlines go on and on, and that's embarrassing. And then this social media post that, that went up from Cecily, Chief Jason Collier is living a double, triple life. I was his girlfriend until yesterday. He lied to me and presented me with fake annulment documents when I found out he was married. I also found out about a second girlfriend, Christy, last night. He has lied to us, our children, and asked us both to marry him. He is a poor representative of your town. He would also visit me in Amarillo when he was on shift. We just returned from vacation in Taos on Sunday. Meanwhile, his other girlfriend was told he was on work assignment in Portland, Oregon. That was the main one that she posted that right. outed me when... Yeah. Yes, sir. You had gone on vacation to Taos. Where did your family think you were? Again, that, yeah. Open. That was the undercover? Yes, sir. And you told Christy with a K that you were on assignment in Portland? Yes, sir. And uh, she says you asked her to marry you. No, I never asked either one of them to marry me. But you talked about what the wedding would look like. We talked about what weddings would look like and everything, yes sir. But you do agree that you misled them about that? Absolutely, yes sir. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.